Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Davis. Welcome to Storytime. Today I'm going to be reading stories about snowmen. I also have a song and a couple rhymes that we'll do, so why don't we get started? The first book I'm going to read is called Sneezy the Snowman. It was written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. Sneezy the Snowman shivered. <laughs> It's cold out here, that's for sure. I need a drink to warm me up. So he drank cocoa from a cup. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from drinking something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as the snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a giant, a choo! I'm sneezing and freezing and ooh, shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my hat to put on your head. You look awesome, the children said. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The stocking cap was a nice surprise. But Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brrr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I'm freezing every minute. I'll find a hot tub and sit right in it. He found one and smiled. I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from sitting in water too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the hot tub said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as the snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a giant, a choo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little boy said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my scarf that's red and blue. I think it will look great on you. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The colorful scarf was a nice surprise. It went very well with a long pink hat and the children said, how about that? But Sneezy the snowman shivered. <laughs> It's cold out here, that's for sure. I need to feel some warmth on me. There's a campfire by that tree. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from standing beside something hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as the snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a giant, a choo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my coat, the perfect fit. I know that you'll look good in it. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The bright orange coat was a nice surprise. It went very well with the scarf and the hat and the children all said, how about that? But Sneezy said, whew, I'm way too hot. I'll take off all the new clothes I've got. The children yelled, no, that's not the way. Listen to what we have to say. Buy something cold at the ice cream store. Have two scoops or three or four. Sneezy ate ice cream seven scoops high. This is great, the snowman cried. I'm not too cold, I'm not too hot, and I'm wearing clothes that I like a lot. Then after eating every bite, he said, at last I feel just right.
the end. Now I have a song that we're gonna sing and it's called I'm a Little Snowman. It's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. I'll go through it once and then we'll do it together two times. It goes like this. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons and here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away, but I'll be back another day. You wanna try it with me? So, I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons and here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away, but I'll come back another day. One more time. I hope you're doing this with me. Put your snowman, put your arms out like this. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons and here is my hat. When the sun comes out, I melt away, but I'll come back another day. You all did a great job, thank you. Now for the next book I'm gonna read is Snowballs by Lois Ellert. This is one of my favorites. Do you think birds know when it's going to snow? I do. The seeds we left out were almost gone. New snow would soon bury the rest. We'd been waiting for a really big snow, saving good stuff in a sack. Finally, it was the perfect snowball day. And let me show you what they saved, if you can see. All sorts of good things to use. We rolled three snowballs and made a snow dad. And added a snow mom. And a cool snow boy. I'm gonna put this one up close so you can see what they use on the face. Wheels and a compass. And we made a snow girl. Whoops. And a round snow baby. and build our cat to end the day. And made our dog Spot. And what's on that snowman, the dog Spots? Those are buttons. I don't know how they got those to stay, but it's a cool idea. I guess you know what happened when the sun came out Snow dad shrinking. Mom is mush. Boy's a blob. Girl is slush. Baby's melting. Cat's getting small. Dog is a puddle. So long, snowball. The end. Now I have a rhyme to do, and this is called a chubby little snowman. I'll do it once through, and then we'll do it two times together. So it goes like this. A chubby little snowman had a carrot for a nose. Along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny, looking for his lunch, ate that snowman's nose, nibble, nibble, crunch. Do you want to try it with me? Okay, so first you want to put your arms out like this. A chubby little snowman, now point to your nose, had a carrot for a nose. And go like this, along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? And shrug your shoulders. That hungry little bunny, and you're gonna rub your tummy, then looking for his lunch, and grab your nose, pretend you're taking your nose off. Ate that snowman's nose, nibble, nibble, crunch. All right, let's put it all together and do it one more time, ready? A chubby little snowman had a carrot for a nose. Along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny, looking for his lunch, ate that snowman's nose, 
nibble, nibble, crunch. That was a fun one, wasn't it? You all did a great job. Now, the last book I'm going to read today is called Snowman at Night by Carolyn Buner. And if you are watching this video for the Beanstack Get Snowed and Reading Challenge, the special keyword for this video is coat. If you haven't heard about the Get Snowed Thin Reading Program, go to our website. It's all explained there. Basically, you record how many minutes you read or what videos you've watched, and you can earn a badge. In return, you can earn a ticket, and then you can use that ticket to win some great prizes. So check it out. So Snowman at Night. This is one of my favorite books. One wintry day, I made a snowman very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped. His arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, hmm, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark. Off the lawn and down the street and right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice-cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond and do skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. They gather up their snowballs, the pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Woohoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. Looks like fun, doesn't it? Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy. So they, get, they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. The end. Now before we go, I have a song that we're gonna sing. But first I want you to look at the flannel board. What do you see? You see some snowmen? And what are they doing? Do you know? They are riding on a sled. But let's count how many snowmen are on the board. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And let's look at the colors of their hats. Do you know what color this is? That's right, brown. Yes, green. You're right, that's red. Correct, that's blue and, very good, orange. Now the song is Five Little Snowmen's Riding on a Sled, and it's like five little monkeys jumping on the bed, but in this case, the five little snowmen are riding on the sled, then Frosty calls the doctor. So I think you all know this one, we just changed the words a little bit. So are you ready? Five little snowmen riding on a sled, one fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on the sled. Let's count one, two, three, four. Four little snowmen riding on a sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on the sled. How many do we have left now? One, two, three, 
three little snowmen riding on the sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on the sled. Now how many do we have? One, two. Two little snowmen riding on the sled. One fell off and bumped its head. Frosty called the snow Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on the sled. How many do we have left? One. That's right. One little snowman riding on the sled. He fell off and bumped his head. Frosty called the doctor and the doctor said, no more snowmen riding on the sled. The end. Well, I sure had a lot of fun today and I hope you did too. Tune in again in a couple weeks. We'll have another story hour. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye-bye.